Yes, the Great Debaters Contest 2016 registration is now open. Teachers or school administrations should register on www.greatdebaterscontest.com slash register. If you were president right now, yeah, what would be your first order of business? Uh, I would like to bring people together uh, in spite of our cultural heritage affiliations. It is our pleasure to welcome you to the Kiambu edition of the Great Debaters Contest. Our debates always seek to inform, educate and entertain and today will be no different. I am your host, Mariam Bishar. And I am Austin Nyumbo. We have Skyline School versus Vanessa Grant Rungai. Their motion is, the retirement age should be lowered to 50 so as to create more job opportunities. Who will be the victor, Mariam, in this motion? There's only one way to find out. We'll let the debaters take the stage. First proposer, you have three minutes. Now, proposing the motion, retirement age will be lowered to 50 to create more job opportunities is Ron Brown, Skyline School. Now, in today's society, the discouraging factor of unemployedness is greatly propelled by a situation in which um, qualified and relatively young individuals get turned down when they seek for employment opportunities because um, they are told that those jobs are occupied. Now, you can bear me witness that um, a large number of those occupying those jobs are people who are significantly past the middle age, which is supposed uh, it's about 50 years of age. Now, um, why? Why should they do this? Now, ladies and gentlemen, I here stand and propose the motion that retirement age will be lowered to 50 to create more job opportunities because surely our learning and productive workforce is the best one that can lead this country to development as the government is yearning to see this country. Secondly, lowering the retirement age to 50 will motivate the soon-to-be-employed workforce to work harder so as to achieve their career dreams before said age. Now, for example, let's say, um, let me take my example. Let's say I'm a medicine student. I've just come from the university, and I want to get unemployment. Now, I know that the retirement age is 50, yet I have so much to accomplish. Now, this will motivate me to work extra harder, and Consequently, I will lead our country to more production, which will consequently um, enable the government to achieve its goals, and probably Vision 2030 will be achieved maybe even at 25. So, thank you. Opposition will be hearing your opening statements. You have three minutes. The sweetest fruits comes from the oldest tree. My name is Lorena Kingi from Vanessa Grant, and I stand here to oppose the motion that states retirement age should be lowered to 50 so as to create job opportunity. First and foremost, have you ever heard of the word experience? Experience is something we have gone through. For you to know that something is good or bad, you have to mature in it, just like the way the elder people we have, the 50 years and above. We cannot say that just because they're old, if that is the term you'd like to call them, say that because of the experience they have, it's like, how can I put it, outdated. It is not outdated. You who are in school right now, you are learning what they learned, but in a much more abridged version from what they did. It's the same thing, but it's only been boosted. Secondly, dedicated. Compared to the youth, the oldest people we have here in Kenya are the most dedicated people we have. Take an example of Leonard Mambombatella. How many times, or oh, for those who listen to the radio, do you hear this man presenting? Even during the era and reign of Moy, where everybody knew it was hard to speak out the truth or anything, Leonard was busy there speaking. How many journalists right now, the youth who you really fight for to be given this opportunity, do you think would stand up and speak the truth? Obviously, they'll sugarcoat everything. Why sugarcoat the truth from people? Let those who know how to handle themselves do it. Don't put people you know they'll sugarcoat the truth from the whole world, yet they claim it's much more experienced. How do you say? The digital age. That's not experience, my friend. Just because you've come from the university fresh, you only have study experience. You need working experience. So as you say, you're qualified for a certain job. Thirdly, family care. 
okay, if you do agree that the 50 years old retirement should be put into action, for those who the parents are 50 years of age, have you considered who will pay your school fees? Assuming you come from a single parent family, for me example, I have a brother, a sister, plus me. There's rent to be paid, there's school fees to be paid, there's car, there's insurance, there's a lot of things to be taken care of. You're still in high school. Who do you think will pay for all of that? Obviously not you. You can't tell me you'll start making mandazis on the street and selling. That won't be enough to pay for everything. And as I finally conclude, I would just like to tell you, find logic in what we're saying. Fine, if you want to remove the 50 years old, remove them, but come to know you are tarnishing your own self in your working experience in nation. Thank you. Rebuttals now. We'll begin with a proposition. You have three minutes. My name is Njueni from Skyline School, and I'm here to propose the motion that states retirement age should be lowered. My point is, first of all, I'd like to ask or to answer the question, what is retirement? Um, Retirement is the action of leaving job and ceasing to work. So let's go back to our point. Retirement, retirement age should be reduced to 50 years. First of all, I have an example of Chris Kirubi, who is a well-known businessman in Kenya. He's around 75 years old, still making it in the, in, the, in the economy. He retired about, for example, 10 years ago, maybe, for example, but my point is this, if he had retired at the age of 50, what would have ha happened to his uh, businesses? In an interview that was held, he was asked this question, what would you wish if you were younger in starting your businesses? And he answered that if he had more time, he would have fully exploited his businesses. Now this tells us, this tells us that if he, only, if he had retired at 50 years old, he would have incurred the loss of wasting 10 years working, whereas he would, have, he, would, he would use that time to start his businesses and create his employment, um, to start being an entrepreneur. Now, um, this is hitting two birds with one stone. When the person leaves work at 50, one, he, may, he might go out there, start create his um, job opportunities, employ people, and then on the other hand, the, the vacant space left by him will be occupied by somebody who is qualified for that job. So this, this is obviously a point that we can look at. Another example is the former Deputy Chief Justice, Kapala Rawal, who was 70 years old refusing for Dr. Kuto in the High Court, who's still in the High Court, to join or to leave work. Why? Most of us, okay, the answer was that he won't, he, if, if, for example, um, if it was at 50 years, then the 20 years she would have retired earlier would have created more job opportunities. So my point is this, if, she, if, if, if the retirement age is, reti is, is lower to 50 years old, to 50 years, then we will increase job opportunities and this will help our country grow. Thank you. Opposition will hear your rebuttal. You also have three minutes. Michelle Robb from Vanessa Grand Girls Academy opposing the motion, retirement age should be lowered to 50 years old to create more job opportunities. It shouldn't be changed because where the world is heading to, it is necessary to work for the extra 10 years to continue earning our daily bread. First and foremost, the economy is at recession. Working people need to earn money to feed their families. Without the money, most things will be beyond people's pocket. Which leads me to my second point. It is a fact that payments paid to retired employees, that is pension, is less than the salary they earn. Would you like to choose to work for 50,000 50, shillings for 60 years or 50,000 shillings for 50 years, keeping it in mind that you have a family to feed. You have to satisfy your family's need. Of course, we'd all go for the 50,000 years, for 50 years, for 60 years. Speaking of family needs, it isn't surprising 
to find a 30-year-old man still living with his parents. That brings me to my third point. The dependency rate is high. Most of us depend on our parents to provide for us the basic needs. Money, clothes, a place to sleep, well, all that. My worthy opponents agree that the retirement age should be reduced to 50 years old to create employment opportunities. The employment opportunities are mostly for the youth. Well, instead of the youth sitting around waiting for the employment opportunities, why can't they engage in sole proprietorship? Partnership? They can also use their talents to create a job, maybe. If you're good at drawing, you can draw pictures, sell them. Won't that earn you good money? Of course it will. My fifth point is that the older people have more understanding. They have better communication skills due to years of experience. My sixth point is that the older people have less to worry about. We youth are preoccupied with a lot of things running in our mind. For example, there is a youth who goes to work and an older person who goes to work. The youth is at the work thinking at, oh, I have a patch at this time and time. Will I get the time to go there? But the older people appreciate the job they have. They are focused on what they're doing. They do not have the, their mind is not preoccupied in the parties. Well, they know, and they appreciate the job. And that is why I urge my worthy opponent to cross the side to ours. Thank you. The Great Debaters Contest 2016 registration is now open. Teachers or school administrations should register on www.greatdebaterscontest.com slash register. Great Debaters Contest 2016 registration is now open. Teachers or school administrations should register on www.greatdebaterscontest.com slash register. audience for your questions. The proposers have been asked if they think that uh, lower retirement ages will increase the incentive to trade and engage in other economic activities. And the opposition have been asked uh, when they argue that older people have more experience, when will the young people gain experience if retirement ages are not lowered? We'll have them respond to the questions. Proposal number three, you have three minutes. John Kazobas, Kalen School. I'd like to answer your question. Um, yes, it will in, yes, it will put more time for it, because they'll have time. The time span will be longer, as compared to when they retire at 75. So if they retire at 50, the time span is longer. And I'd also like to propose the motion by this. The world is digitalizing, and we need new people in the game. So we have to, we have to move with the tide. If people retire at 50, then it's quite convincing that the one coming in will be better. What, what good does it make having an experienced, learned, and strong person working than it is to have an experienced, weak, and not willing person working? Also, if we take comparison of two people who are great in this world, Nelson Mandela versus the opponents like Mugabe and Museveni. Nelson Mandela is known because he, he retired early and he's, he's, well, he's well known in the world. But if you take people like Museveni, we still don't quite figure out what is done for his country. It's quite difficult to know. And actually, that is why people should retire early. Also, the people who retire early, at about 50, uh, they, they get time, they'll get time to teach people who are below them, their juniors, and they'll become better than them. And that leads to what? That leads to economic upgrade. And with that, thank you. Opposition, you may respond. You have three minutes as well. Uh, Wilma Pitts Chelangat from Vanessa Grant Girls opposing the motion that the retirement rate should be reduced to 50 so as to create job opportunities for the youth. To answer your question, 
we do not necessarily mean that we are locking these youths out of job opportunities. What you mean is that you say that youths have innovation skills, that youths have fresh skills from the university. Why can't they come up with groups, organizations? Do they have to sit on the bench? Do they have to sit on the streets to wait for someone to employ them? Well, I would like to ask all of you a question. Can you really assure me that if I removed, if the government removed all those who are 50 years and above, all the youths are going to get job opportunities? These people who are 50 and above, they are very experienced in many things. That's why you find that companies are leading where older people are leading those companies. You can't find a company having a high interest in anything when, they, when the person who's leading that company is a youth, simply because the youth do not have this experience. For they say that experience is the best teacher. You have to have the experience so that you can lead someone. For you cannot lead someone where you have never been. So you can't tell me that the youth can help raise a company or can help raise something just because they are fresh from the university. They have to get the experience they need. Uh, and to my po point about <clears throat> having the experience is that there is an example of a lieutenant. His name is Johnson Ondieki. It was on a Sunday nation on the 15th of May. This man has been elected to lead a military that consists of 5,000. And why? Because he had the experience of 36 good years. He wouldn't have been elected if he didn't have the experience. Why didn't they, use, why didn't they choose a youth who was also competing for that position? He was just a youth. And this person had the experience. And that is why they chose him. Well, a research done by Donald Super has, has shown that these people at the age of 50 and above tend to have a competition. They, have, they tend to have, this is the competitive stage. So if you remove them at the age of 50, how do you expect them to unleash their competitive nature? How will they unleash this competition if they're thrown out in the streets? Will the youth come up with the competi competition that they claim to be having? No. These people who are 50 and above, they have this competitive, uh, competitive stature as per what Donald Super says, because that is what he found out. And also, the youth, um, at the, no, these old people at the age of 60 tend to disengage. They tend to disengage from these uh, properties. So why don't you leave them reach 60 years so that they can get to disengage by their own nature? Do you have, them, do you have to throw them to the streets so that you can know that they have to resign? Uh, I would like to urge you to join our opposition team. Thank you. We'll hear final statements now. Proposition, you have one minute. Once again, I'm Ron Brown from Skyline School. And... I would like to say that um, lowering the retirement age to 50, it will motivate people to work hard. Because, now I want to clarify something to my, op um, to my colleagues. Now, some, uh, you claimed that lowering the retirement age to 50 will create more problems as the, as the dependency ratio is high. Now, I, I want to tell you that not all jobs are paying well to cater for all the aspects of the budget life of an individual. For example, insurance, um, food, school fees, because you even have jobs that pay like 5k per month. Now, how do you expect them to survive just because they have been given the job and they have more um, things to cater for? We need to put all things in the box and compare them. Now, also, it will bring into action the more productive part of the society. Because if you look at most people in offices nowadays or in jobs, most of them are people who are past 50. Now, if you lower the retirement age to 50, we will bring into action those young and more active people. And in conclusion, would you rather have an old, experienced person to cater for themselves outside there through their experience, through entrepreneurship, or would you rather have a young and inexperienced person to live life out there without employment? Thank you. Opposition, you have one minute as well. Surely, if you think we are wrong to oppose this motion, then I would like you to answer this question. You say you want the people who are 50 and above to retire, right? Fine, let them retire. But remember, it is you who the burden will fall upon on. You as the youth. You will make your parents depend on you. 
assuming, you, okay, fine, you're working. We've not refused. You've gotten that job because your parent has been told to sit down. Let him sit down. But let me tell you, you'll have your house to pay for. You'll have your parents' house to pay for. Assuming you also have siblings in school, you'll also have to fend for them. So if you find it logic in making your parents lose a job so that you can, accum you can accumulate that space she has left, then I don't think we're heading in the right direction. Oh, and on one final note, when we talk of innovation, who said it's only the youth who can be innovative? Um, there's an old man, age of 56, who is an arbitrator of gadgets. His gadgets are sold worldwide. They're loved, just like Steve Jobs did with the Apple. So did Walt Mossberg of the Wall Street Journal. All his gadgets are loved and sold everywhere. He has new ideas, not from the youth, but he's personal. So tell me, if you remove these 50 years old people, you think that they don't still have the new knowledge of trying to keep, to industrialize our country? They do watch the news, you know. Not all of them are the stereotype youth we have. Thank you. <laughs>